very warm welcome to Money Control. We are coming to you from an innovation center in the heart of Bengaluru city. India as a country is now looking at repositioning itself as the innovation capital of the world and this is perhaps one of the many centers that have come up or are coming up across the country. This particular one in Bangalore is from Deloitte. Deloitte has a slew of innovations here that it is hoping to bring in or has already brought in across different companies and even across state governments in India. To understand more on what Deloitte is thinking and planning for India, we have with us Romal Shetty, CEO Deloitte South Asia. Thanks Romal for joining us and, uh, and uh, for bringing us here at this uh, amazing innovation center, truly an eye opener. What's really intriguing is, why don't we begin from here? Just show us the kind of innovations that uh, you are looking at. And this particular one right here is looking uh, quite interesting. Just tell us a little bit more about this. So, so really this, this one is where, for example, let's assume that you want to try on a particular clothing, for example, which exactly fits you mm -hmm. in terms of your fit. You're actually able to do that. So. Mm -hmm any design anything that you would like and it's not just the clothes but it's also the accessories the mm. you know the the necklace the the shades and everything right. else how does it fit on you mm. in real life that is one part second is you need any support you need to know a little bit more about the fabric and everything else mm. you can have a live support where you can have someone basically like a hologram mm. actually talking to you as well so the the application of this could be many of course this is Fantastic. In, in, in so has this been implemented uh, rumal in india uh, no not okay. in, not to this extent of okay. what we are saying no uh -huh. not there is some part of it that has been implemented mm -hmm. but not the end to end uh, piece as such mm. so by when are you already talking to businesses have your clients asked you to so this is artificial intelligence in yes. action yeah artificial intelligence uh, augmented reality digital so mm. all of that it's a combination of many of those things mm. so Earlier, each of those concepts were separate, but now the blurring is actually happening. Fascinating. Right. So, uh, so, so this center, uh, from what we were discussing, has been in the works for some time. Uh, what What was the thought process behind building this center in Bangalore? Yeah. So, two things. One is, as you know, uh, my belief is that the next round of growth mm. will all be fueled by innovation, and for us as a firm, and for our for organizations to get real value is how much of that can come through innovation india has been great at faster cheaper better right. but how do we now take the next leap forward mm. and sort of be more advanced than anybody else so that's mm. that was a thought process mm. of building something absolutely world class mm. uh, the reason of bangalore mm. uh, right uh, of course on a lighter side i sit in bangalore mm -hmm. but the, the the real reason is i think the the tech talent that is actually available here and, and it's not a tech talent just local, it's a real cosmopolitan talent of India mm. uh, and overseas that actually are based in Bangalore. So that's mm. why we thought it's a great place mm. to look at everything from uh, digital to actually manufacturing. So it's a combination of everything and you'll see that today including all of this enabled through 5G. Fascinating. So uh, how about the global leadership of Deloitte when you suggested or when this was discussed as an idea that we need to have an innovation center in Bangalore. Uh, just you know help us understand how would they have taken this decision or how would something like this be considered say five years ago. You would you have you know would, was Bangalore a tough sell or was it an easy sell and would it have always been an easy sell as in I'm sure Bangalore was in competition with say a Singapore or uh, you know our uh, neighboring countries. So <clears throat> so really for from a Deloitte perspective you know uh, Deloitte's about 470,000 people 120,000 of them are in India. Okay. So India is not a difficult sell for Deloitte sure. uh, and Deloitte's the largest professional services firm as well. Mm -hmm. So in that sense we've not had we've not had that challenge mm. of selling india mm. uh, right second is uh, we have had large centers earlier established in hyderabad in mumbai as well mm -hmm. right different centers for different things for blockchain uh, for for example the studio you right. you know you're in the media side the studio so we actually have a studio as right. well deloitte does a lot of advertising mm -hmm. in the in the digital space not sure. on print sure so india has never been a hard sell mm. uh, right uh, and bangalore 
because of just the sheer talent and the mm. tech talent that we actually have so it wasn't difficult to convince anybody to say that we want to have a center here okay so there was so it it's it was there was consensus that there was growth consensus. will come from uh, india Correct. and we should so this is you're driving innovation only for the south asia region from here or is it worldwide no this is worldwide so you know in, i mean for a fmcg company one of the world's largest fmcg companies mm. 50% of all the insights about customer the analytics about the customer is driven out of india is driven out of bangalore mm. 50% this is a, a company that has uh, you know over 100 countries wow. all right so in the past India was doing for India but now what is what has really changed mm. is a lot of the transformation work some of it is the captives you know Bangalore and Delhi and Mumbai have a lot of captives as well right. they are driving large scale transformations across the world so mm. so India is no more about for this region so we will build something so for India so from BPO from mm. the BPO capital to the world it's on its way to driving innovations and uh, breakthrough solutions that are going to come from India first Absolutely, absolutely, and and India has scale. Mm -hmm. You, it's a great test bed as well. Right, it's a great test bed. So tell us, uh, what's your favorite innovation over here? And I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. talk about a few things. So one yeah. is, you know, just this, for example, this is a a smart cart. Okay. Where as you keep on adding things, yeah, you know, automatically it'll get picked up. So you don't need to do anything. It'll mm -hmm. get picked up. Mm -hmm. The quantity will get picked up. However, you place it, it will get picked up. Okay. Right, and when you walk through this aisle, right. your billing will also happen. So who is okay? Where where is this getting implemented? So, is, so part of it, for example, in terms of QR code based systems yeah. are getting implemented, yeah. but not the full smart card, okay. right? And there is a pilot being running now, for example, in a few places. So, uh -huh. it not only so when you take this, so let's do this. yeah, let's do this. So, for yeah. example, if you if you sort of you know take this. Put a box like this, right? So automatically, and someone okay. can, yeah. So, you know, it'll start. Then it'll also give you a promotion, okay. and the promotion will be something that is close by. Hmm. So you can then choose. Like so you tiger do, punch. It's yeah. showing tiger yeah, punch. Yeah, showing tiger right punch, here. right? Yeah. Okay. So if you can do that, right? So the the concept hmm. is that from a waiting time of thirty to forty minutes, hmm. right? Can you actually reduce that hmm. and bring it down to seamless? Hmm. I always talk about India's innovation of fast tag. Hmm. We used to wait 12 minutes. That's right. In the in the toll. Yes. Now we wait 47 seconds hmm. in hmm. the toll. Hmm. Just think about the amount of fuel that is actually saved. Yeah, so absolutely. So this is really so you know again see it's it's showing you different hmm. things hmm. and now because it doesn't know you as well Shweta. Right. Once it starts knowing you, huh. it will <laughs> also tell you that this, this when you come on a Tuesday, you normally buy this. Right, so it'll tell you that it'll give you that option to say that you know on a Tuesday. So our lives are, will be more open than they've ever been. What is this? So that is, for example, you know, just to ensure that from all sides, you know, it's 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 basically able to identify the QR codes, able to identify the okay. quantity, okay. all of that. So okay. that's what it's, that's it's looking the, at. So yeah. so here, so you come through this. You come through this. Yeah. And you know, you'll have to do a checkout. Okay. Right, which is. You can come here and yeah, yeah. Okay. So those shopping. are the three things yes. that you've taken. Okay, and so I I have to have an app. You on have my to have phone. an app. Yes. Okay. All right. Check out. That's it. So I just stand here. Yeah. And that's it. So you don't need to go through. But for example, we also have certain checks to mm -hmm. ensure that you know. For example, did you take one more product other than the three? Mm -hmm. So it will actually calculate. Right okay. on the basis of the weight, exact weight to say is there one more item than the three that have been built. Hmm. So okay. that means you can make it even if someone's sure. trying something. So this came in. So this. So you built hmm. this. You do you already have demand for something like this? So a lot of the retailers, for example, are looking at this because you see hmm. in some of the lines hmm. you see this. So can you do it faster so that there's a faster turnout? Turnout. You have right. more and more people coming in. Right. So of course this is like I said, you know. parts of it have been done but hmm. not everything hmm. this this other one is also very nice here for example you know if you come here shweta i'll show you so if you can maybe just put the put one of the maybe the yeah or the or the the, the jewelry okay so if you put the jewelry here for example mm -hmm. now automatically it will tell you about the jewelry Right. Wow. What's the set? Now you can also customize it. Okay. Yeah. You just go ahead. So you can say 
the new one in gemstone and carrot in metal right it, of course giving okay. you all the options as well right okay gemstone so these are the gemstone options okay lucifer yeah and then just say set yeah try maybe something else carrot yeah yeah and you can say buy it's fantastic yeah so the ability to customize mm. and say and what we are doing now in uh, uh, in reality is mm. you will see this coming soon i can't it disclose it does not tell me the quality of the diamonds you can go into each of them okay. also and, and it will get the color it will get the color and everything else what we are doing now mm. very interesting is mm. you go to a jewelry shop this is going to come okay soon is it come tanishk is bringing it I, I, I won't. Like I won't that. talk. I won't talk about who's okay. bringing it. Indian but we are brand? helping. Indian brand. Indian brand. We are helping. Okay. They, they're not there in the market. Okay. An international yeah. brand that's coming into India. No, no, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go there and say, I want something in chrome. Mm. I want something in silver. Mm. Hey, I have a photo here. I want silver, chrome, and this photo in this shape. Mm. Okay. Mm. And it will prompt you, and it will give you designs. Mm. The design is linked back to the mold. right back to say whether we have a mold that can actually make this and then you can say i don't want this red i want this green hmm. so you can customize it hmm. so you can choose what you want so you know wow. things like that so so okay. that's also something that so that and the smart know, card that's also coming to india the smart yes, card yes 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 okay. so there's there's a there's a trial going on for example in hyderabad okay uh, where they have seen an upsell of 30% so it's both hmm. one is the value uh mm. the the ease of convenience mm. right to just put it in a bag and just mm. go and don't wait mm. everywhere the second bit is upsell mm. and i'm telling you the thing for example the analytics is so advanced to say that if you are in gujarat mm. in a particular pin code right and in that pin code actually there is a lot more tamilians there then mm. you will have something for example which could be a staple ingredient there and if it knows you hmm. based on your buying behavior hmm. it knows what you'll buy on tuesday what you buy on thursday it'll suggest you you can of course say no okay right okay <laughs> bit intimidating a bit daunting <laughs> um so uh, you were talking about a made in india hmm. innovation that hmm. is going to be rolled out can you tell us a little bit more about that yeah so uh, maybe i'll 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 take you through sure. for example so hmm. these are all of course simulators and you know hmm. very important uh, is that you have for uh, if you're a forklift uh, mm. driver you have, mm. it requires 5 6 months of training yeah. jet simulation of course mm. is known as aircraft how do you do some of this to ensure that you're trained and what mm. it does is not only it helps you to train in terms of you know on a daily basis the analytics will tell you where are you going wrong at the end of it so it'll tell you then you focus on this so there'll be a specific summary to say hey this is how you're doing it so change that so things like that so you know very important because lot of them now mm. the forklifts the cranes mm. the machines they will all become ev mm. they will all become for example a little bit more automated mm. but you'll still need someone to manage it you Absolutely. just can't let it go right. on its own right? right so things like that is where some of that but i'll show you uh, some very interesting things as well mm. hmm? do you want me kalyan you want to say something no this ah. is a ai technology by which you can yeah do. maybe you can just show it to yeah. show yeah so uh, once i point at the car mm -hmm. so it identifies the car okay. and then you you will be able to learn about the part by clicking the different parts right? so i clicked on the tire so okay. it gives me information about the vehicle okay so we did it for the vehicle but you can do it for any product uh -huh. just, by using augmented reality you will be able to understand the product in more detail so this was also made innovated yes. everything in yes. india yes. all done in india so our we are going to start in kalyan's of course one of our architects mm -hmm. who's helping our onboarding program mm -hmm. you know onboarding program we get everybody into the room we have 50 people they go through powerpoint presentations mm -hmm. now they are looking at the whole onboarding to mm -hmm. be done through augmented reality it's a different experience you feel it rather than this coming and attending one session with lots of powerpoint things so this is all mm -hmm. this is all india so mm -hmm. none of this is not i'm taking some innovation from somewhere else mm. and bringing it here okay. this is all our innovation that we're doing but we are also working with partners sure. we're working with people like siemens and others mm -hmm. for example i will show you the manufacturing plant as well mm -hmm. uh, right so sure so uh, rumal tell us uh, more about the india strategy because mm. uh, clearly there's a lot of focus in india and you are very bullish on india so uh, have have you tweaked your strategy in the last few years in terms of your hiring in terms of your expansion plans what's brewing yeah. over there so um 
India is the fastest growing Deloitte member firm in the world, mm -hmm. uh, right? So we're growing at over 30-35% year on year and we've been growing at close to 40-45% in the previous 4-5 years. So mm -hmm. we're continuing that momentum. Mm -hmm. um, we're hiring about uh, a thousand people for the India operations every month. Okay. We hire another three, two to 3,000 people for the global operations every month. Mm -hmm. So we are significant, you know, in terms of growth. Mm -hmm. um, the India strategy has also tweaked because in the past, mm -hmm. right, we've been, uh, now we're focusing on some new sectors, for example, like Semicon, mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, like space, mm -hmm. all right? And we've been involved in some of these as well, mm -hmm. but we're also getting into as high end as Semicon and space mm -hmm. to, to more, to say, how do we do agri-tech? So, for example, we're working with the UP government mm. to help them move from a 240 billion mm. uh, economy to a $1 trillion economy. So, okay. it's about everything to say, how do we get you know, better? Uh, uh, what sectors should we focus on? Mm. What, for example, uh, uh, where should be the investments coming in? Mm. How do you woo investors? Mm. How do you do ease of doing business? Uh, right? Mm. If you improve productivity, for mm. example, in agri, mm. even by 5-10%, India's productivity in terms of agri would not be even in the in the global benchmarks. Right. Even if we bring 10% in UP itself, mm. we can drive a significant people out of poverty levels. Absolutely, right. absolutely. So when you say agri tech, mm. uh, can you can you tell us a little bit more about uh, you know how you what is the advice that you're giving to the UP government when it comes comes to increasing productivity? Yeah. So and, for uh, example, uh, if you for example when you have uh, you know. Uh, uh, drones and things like that or mm. let's let's take a simple thing like milk mm. right milk uh, everybody has so there is a village that has excess milk mm. they don't have any place to store mm. they don't have micro fridges sure. it gets all perished mm. so can someone can a concept like an amul come in where you actually accumulate all of that mm. that way the farmers mm. uh, or the dairy mm. they make they also make a lot more money mm. and there's no wastage in mm. india for example in fruits 37 mm. percent is wasted yeah yeah. So mm. you have huge wastage mm. that actually happens uh, because now there are better roads, better infrastructure mm. uh, and digital payments. Mm. We see a lot of trade happening intra villages also and not just outside the state. Mm. So helping them in all kinds of things from sure. using drone tech, for example, mm. helping them get the best prices. Mm. So mm. there are agri tech companies that help accumulate all the demand and mm. say, OK, this is a special mango. Mm. Dubai, this is the biggest demand that is actually happening. Mm. How do we match the demand to the supply? And but for that, we need to have better packaging, for example. Right. You know, you have some great stuff in India or we have one district, one product, which right. is in UP, Ittar, mm. you know, Varnasi Silk, all of those. Mm. But nobody else knows about That's it. That's true. How do we bring it across to India mm. and how do we bring it to the rest of the world? Mm. So um, you mentioned you're hiring a thousand people every day. Mm. And uh, when we were talking before the interview started, you spoke about how India is now growing in Bharat, tier, mm. the tier two, the tier three cities. What are your plans and what is your expansion strategy in these parts? And how much of your hiring is, you know, what's the hiring mix looking like? What's what has there been a change on that? So track? we, you know, we were traditionally what I would call as a 99% or 100% Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore, uh, sort of Calcutta, kind of a Chennai, you know, the mm. that cities that has now changed dramatically mm. to start at least 20 to 25 percent mm. of the hiring that is all coming out of now these tier two tier three cities all 22, right 20 to 25 percent is coming out of us so we've now got large centers in coimbatore mm -hmm. in bhuvneshwar mm. we will open offices in lucknow mm. we will open offices in jaipur so we're doing some of that as well mm. but that mix has changed mm. dramatically mm. Uh, from the past also our own mix all right we were uh, lots of accounting uh, folks tax folks uh, you know mbas now we have a lot of engineers uh, come in mm. as well right mm. so it's a combination of different things that we are we are, uh, we are doing and tier so, 2 tier 3 is is important from our strategy because we believe the next round of growth mm. for both serving serving our india market serving global markets mm. and also their local markets because mm. now slowly there are enough corporates mm. government Right. spending happening hmm. so when it comes to the india story you know hmm. there's a lot that's spoken about domestic market hmm. are you also reorienting your strategy 
to cater to the domestic market besides catering to the MNCs, are you also looking at reaching out to the small and the medium uh, yes. business yes. owners? Yes. So clearly, that is a that is a shift that has actually happened. Where um, uh, in India, if you want to, you want to really succeed. Hmm. Uh, scale is important right uh, and if you have to have scale hmm. then you have to go to the smaller businesses as well hmm. so but our philosophy is how do you use tech hmm. to service those clients because in a normal Deloitte model hmm. we may not be value effective for Fair them yeah. but that is something that we are really trying India has over I mean you know, 70 million MSMEs for hmm. example hmm. how do we actually ta tackle that how do we give advice to them how do we make them more successful so it's mm. clearly part of that is, is is something that is that is happening as so well so are they open to what 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 are the kind of requests that you're getting from them are they open to adopting more technology and also are you pivoting your business offerings to cater to that clientele and is that a very india specific uh, model that is a very very india specific model but my belief is when it happens in india Mm. It will happen across South Asia, it will happen across Africa, it will happen across Southeast Asia as well mm. and Latin America as well. So I think what some of the things that we're doing mm. will be a precursor to other uh, economies as well. Mm. Uh, so, uh, so our focus, you know, the big focus is to say uh, how do we service these sectors by using significant tech, significant AI, mm. right? That is the, that is the, the, the mm. fundamental focus. Mm. So when you say that when this happens in India, it will happen in the rest of the world as well. Mm -hmm. Can you take us a little bit, you know, give, give us some more detail about uh, how are you pivoting to cater to the tech demands of the MSMEs? What mm -hmm. is so unique about mm -hmm. this model that is a very India specific model? So let's let, let's assume, let's take for example, uh, MSMEs, right? right? Now MSMEs need to file their tax returns, mm -hmm. right? Now, you know, there are they may not have that many options mm. all right and it may be you know it may take time and others so we are building platforms mm. where for example it's like a serve me right so i go i take i take whatever for example uh, information that they have they can mm. put it in a very simple way mm. right and using ai and other means mm. populate the entire template mm. right populate the entire template and give them give them their tax return so okay and at a cost effective price okay. because we're able to do it at scale okay. so that's the whole idea so it's, okay. you know small things like that sure. is, is is what we're what we're doing so uh, before we continue yeah. your conversation what's this okay this is a this is an entire assembly line okay. that has been picked up where it links everything back to let's assume there is a forecast mm -hmm. of saying that how many chocolates for example uh, boxes that you need. Oh, you come to a restaurant. Let's right. assume this is, a, of course, a you know manufacturing plant, mm. and you want a combination of a hazelnut, a milk coffee, right. and based on what, whatever options you have, right. that will actually get filled up here. It will go to the bottling. It will go to the you know the cap. The mm. cap will be done. Everything will, is done uh, on the fly. That means a customized solution for you okay. in terms of chocolates, what you want, uh -huh. or beer. Uh -huh. Depending on different mix, there are cylinders there and they have a okay. combination of All different right. kinds of chocolates, for example. Uh -huh. It will pick up uh -huh. uh, and it will serve you right in, then and there. Okay. And what we are saying is the manufacturing process can be made 10, 20, 30, 40 percent more efficient. Right? Mm. By And it can choose what should be the bottle size mm. so that it can be much more faster. Okay. what can be for example the storage space hmm. so you can redesign your factory infrastructure okay. all right based on this so this is completely automated okay. uh, completely also on the made, fly completely, made completely in, in india, india it is us siemens there are different sure. partners coming together sure. completely made in india mm -hmm. and with industry 4.0 mm -hmm. with all factories with manufacturing coming into india right some of this this even five percent improvement in efficiencies will make a big difference this is an end-to-end one which is already done. Fascinating. Now I have to ask you this hmm. moment. The amount of AI, the hmm. amount of VR that we are seeing here on this uh, floor, hmm. uh, you know, leads me to my question on jobs. Right? Hmm. You are automating this, something that would have required maybe 10 people standing on the on that uh, you know assembly line. Hmm. And uh, we, we went through that 
smart shopping cart typically mm. when you're checking out you have a checkout guy you have five people helping you out in the aisle so what will happen to all those jobs are we is india ready for mm. such such an overhaul because mm. considering our demographic dividend we need the jobs we need incomes we're still a lower uh, middle income country just help me understand the dynamics of yeah. that so for example in this particular case there was somebody sitting and you know taking the bottle putting the chocolate yeah. screwing it uh, you right. know putting the cap on doing a quality test mm. now all of that is 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 done mm. but now you have a lot of people who are observing mm. that what is for example actually happening mm. so there is somebody who's looking at the at the the entire plant process right. to look at so the nature of the job and they're looking at defects mm. they're able to identify where exactly the defect is coming from which mold is it coming from right. so earlier you had 5 10% losses that were happening right because it was all done manually right. now that losses have come down but somebody is looking at those things okay. so with ai yeah there will be mm -hmm. normal nature of jobs that will be lost mm. but uh, the tedious kind of work will get lost mm. but a little bit more higher end new jobs will be created mm. somebody has to build the software for this mm. somebody has to develop how how this will actually work mm. how this will get uploaded somebody has to see the robots okay. sure. somebody has to also be look there are autonomous robots mm. but you still have to be careful mm. you can't completely rely on that mm. so the nature of jobs will change mm. uh, but i don't think honestly the mm. job losses will 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 result it's okay. but people have to reskill themselves sure. and i think that's a critical okay. element as well so reskilling is uh, what you're expecting what are, what about the big sectors that deloitte is bullish on and what's your outlook on ai and gen ai and its adoption by indian businesses yeah so i mean I'll, I'll show you something here. That's a yeah. 3D printer. Okay. So what what happens? For example, let's assume a you know you've lost a major part. Hmm. That major part will take you eight weeks for it to come, right? right. To to hmm. get back because it's a specialized thing. Sure. And now in 3D, you can basically create in four hours that same part hmm. with Kevlar or some material that is as strong, right? And then use it. Hmm. So you not go through eight weeks. But hmm. how do you then tr how do you use AI hmm. or generative AI to hmm. say okay? this is how you use mm. this is how you unscrew it this is how for example you need to remove mm. all of the attributes of that mm. ai will actually help so mm. that's how ai is going to become whether it's in content i mean we have something where we have the the studios mm. right where today you have some content yeah. which you want to put on a website right it goes through multiple checks it sure. takes probably 8 to 10 hours right we can do it in 5 minutes okay yeah <laughs> including right. the including content on social media Okay. Wow. Including content on social media, so that can also be done. Okay. So it's so it's about how do we get and those are some of the things you know like this is for example this is clearly something that is used in a heavy machinery. Mm -hmm. It's a very light thing. If you touch it, it's been done by mm. it's been done by this. But then you can just put it onto that where he's trying. You know he's 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 actually learning how to use this particular tool okay. right and it's giving him instructions if you see on the left hand side it's giving him instructions right so you can replace something mm -hmm. and not wait for 8 weeks because the machinery goes down mm. it will disrupt your entire manufacturing mm. process mm. Okay. so so you see you see in terms of the growth that you're expecting for ai and gen ai uh, in india what's the estimate that you're working with so we are, we believe that uh, gen ai ai and gen ai Uh, will probably be will add uh, you know a uh, half a trillion dollars to the economy by 2030 and for deloitte in terms of uh, your business uh, our business we are trying to infuse ai into everything mm. whether how we do tax work you know how do we how, how do we do a cyber work mm. for example you know one of the big things today twitter is happening is that with the digital proliferation you have a lot more attacks mm. so now we are also seeing that can you use ai mm. to counter some of those attacks predict some of those attacks know from where it's coming from of course it may happen that the other party may also start using ai right. to to fight but right. that's what is happening as well so infusing ai into everything so it's going to be if you ask me in my top 5 pillars mm -hmm. uh, generative ai generative ai mm -hmm. uh, digital would be amongst the top 5 pillars of you know how and of course resultant revenues will also come from there in the india story in the india story and, and it's the linked other to sectors that you are uh, betting so, on uh so two sectors that we are betting on one is the government uh, okay. right because i think the india stack that india has built mm. uh, right is a phenomenal innovation a phenomenal innovation 
that can do a lot of things the mm -hmm. practical use cases are just a few today what is being used in terms sure. of you know direct benefit transfer mm -hmm. uh, right your subsidies and others but there's a lot more things that can be built mm -hmm. out of the other other and you know the right. upi and everything else the mm -hmm. stack so that is one sector that we are focusing significantly on mm -hmm. second is financial services because in any country mm -hmm. as the economy moves Mm. Uh, into a five trillion, seven trillion, mm. the financial services need to actually so and mm. financial services today is getting a lot more with with telco with other parts as well. It's getting blurred. Mm. So those are two big sectors mm. in addition to space and semiconductor, which I mentioned as as you know mm. as a key focus. And of course, you know, we're going to. We are there in pretty much life science, all of the other sectors, but those are the ones which we'll double down on. Okay, we have a new government uh, that's uh, going to be coming in in just about two yeah. months from now. Um, in your view, what should be the priority for the first hundred day? Any any wish list? So, uh, you know, a lot of work has been done on ease of doing business. Mm. But my belief is that uh, India has got to be a top 10 country, not in the 50s, 60s, 70s, but in the top 10 countries. So mm. really ease of doing business, whether it is enforceability of contracts. I think that's very important for people to come in. Land acquisition. We will, um, with the China plus one, mm. There is clear movement towards India, but mm. it's not everything is moving to India. Correct. There are other countries that are getting sure. it. Yeah. But we, it is one golden opportunity. Mm. How do we get more than our fair share? Mm. And therefore, I think the you know the uh, land acquisition, mm. uh, what I call is land acquisition and plug and play. So can mm. somebody come here and say plug and play? I just come in, you know, I plug and play, and I have right. everything ready. Mm. So can we do some of that uh, mm. there? And then of course, uh, government should always. My belief is government should be in the business of governing, not running businesses. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the uh, disinvestment, mm. which, you know, Air India was a great story right. of what was done. I think mm. a fantastic thing. But I think we need to do a little bit more of disinvestment. Mm. Uh, do you think so we should, move, since you're a telco guy, mm. should, should we be disinvesting from our telecom companies, BSNL, MTNL? So, so the, the one part in telco, of course, is sometimes uh, those companies provide infrastructure at the, at the grassroots levels and the others mm. where private companies may not necessarily always be there. Mm. So you have to consider that, uh, mm. that aspect. But I would say overall basis disinvestment is something that I think is, is because government is good at you know many things, mm. but running a business let let entrepreneurs run businesses. Roman, I know that you're a cricketing buff. If you were to use a cricket analogy to describe the mood uh, for India at the moment and your outlook for India, what would that be? Yeah, so you know, <clears throat> a big fan of Sachin. And when uh, when Sachin used to walk into the the stadium the whole stadium would start chanting Sachin, Sachin, right? I feel that for India today. As I go to different countries across the world, that's the same mood that India in terms of the... India has always not lived up to its expectations, but I think a lot of people do believe now is really India's time. So I think that is the first thing. Second is my own view of India in terms of not just about what has happened, mm -hmm. but what can happen, right. right? Our most important thing is our Labor force, labor force participation of women. Mm. It's 37 percent. It's moved 23 to 37 percent in five five years, but it's still 37. So there's a long way to go. Mm. Just the positive. Sure. You look at tier two, tier three cities. Mm. Largely, India's the top 10 cities. Mm. You've got a huge bunch of you know uh, next cities coming across. And, and third is really the intellectual capital, our talent. We've got some you know incredible incredible people. I mean, there's a young kid who she's I think she's less. She's 20, 21. She's looking at she's building that augmented reality uh, you know thing so at, at a such a young age mm. and we've got we've really got good managerial and top talent as well mm. so I'm really positive about uh, what's in for India many issues but I think uh, you know India is on the right track thank you Roma thank you so much it was a pleasure walking around this innovation center I for one I'm looking forward to using that uh, smart shopping cart very very soon amongst the other things and uh, we do hope that India continues to hit many centuries Absolutely. thanks so much thank, thank you, you. Rita. thank you so thanks much. so much for watching